Oh, it kind of fit. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing, if you haven't seen the shop tour, it's out. I just put it out uh, maybe three, four weeks ago, and I've gotten some questions about this particular piece of the shop. This is my camera drawer, and it's where I keep everything I film videos with, and you'll see some other electronics and things like that, but I just kind of breezed over it, and I was like, this is my camera drawer, and it's fully electric, and self-auto charging, blah, 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 and it does a bunch of stuff, which I didn't really go over. So that's what I want to do today. Here it is, the self-charging camera drawer. All right, so here we are. It's basically just built into this back workbench. Um, but if you pop it open, and just a warning, it is empty right now. I took everything out of it so I can kind of give you an idea of what I keep in here. Um, Oh, and I forgot to take that out. It's okay. This is like a dust cover and this just seals everything off. Basically the reason I have it in a drawer and not just like on a table or shelf is because it gets really dusty in here and I need a way to keep dust off of it. So I'm not constantly cleaning and, and trying to keep things nice. But this is, it's just Velcroed on here. It's just a piece of vinyl from Joann's Fabrics. It works, it's not my favorite thing. I had a, I struggled with keeping this Velcro attached to, you can see it's starting to peel off, attached to the cover there. So I haven't quite figured out what I can do to kind of improve that. You'll see it kind of like, sag, you know, if you just flip it down, it'll sometimes sag. It does a good job of catching, but even with the Velcro, some dust still gets in. But this is what it looks like empty. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different compartments. At first glance, you can kind of see that there's storage around this area. And then this guy, which I was just saying I forgot to take out, this is kind of like my travel case for my camera. Um, it's a Pelican, well, it's not a Pelican case. It's Harbor Freight's version of it, and we can go into that, but I would recommend this to kind of anybody. Oop, come on. This kind of gives you an idea of what everything looks like when it's empty. I think this is a good project that you could just kind of make on your own and tailor it to whatever you have going on. Um, that's why I emptied it and so you can see, these are just foam pieces in the bottom there. It's basically just a plywood box with some, with some cross bracing to kind of break it up so I can have like my GoPro stuff here, you know, my big microphones and stuff over there and just uh, make it a little more organized. For the most part, I just kind of keep odds and ends in these little bins right here, and then I'll keep my big camera, which I'm filming on right now, so you can't see it, but that guy lives in this travel case, like I said, um, and there's room in there for lenses, chargers, microphones, kind of whatever I need for that. Over here is the charging system. So one of the things I really wanted to do was instead of having chargers kind of scattered around the shop was to have all of them in one place in my drawer with all my camera stuff. So with that in mind, there's a few things I kind of needed to overcome. That's well first getting power to it. Um, so you can see I have uh, two power banks. They're, they're basically just power strips, but in the shape of a square and they have four USB chargers on each one of them. So those guys are actually screwed to the case itself, um, and that way I can just pull stuff on and off really easily. The other thing I needed was, because of the charging system in here, I needed to get the heat out. When you charge stuff, as you know, it makes heat, and I didn't want everything to just kind of like cook in here when I had everything charging. So um, for that reason, I put in a small fan. It's actually just a computer fan, and that vents hot air out, and in order to get cool, nice, clean air in. Over here, um, I've installed, I basically just cut a square and installed, surprisingly enough, this is just a lawnmower air filter, um, and they're really cheap. You basically just make a hole that size and then you can plug it right in. So that's where the air goes out, and that's where the air comes in. And then in order to keep dust out, like you saw with the cover, that's all sealed. And I also have cable brushes um, through all brushes, they're called something goofy, I'll put them in the description, but it basically just lets your power cables go through and doesn't let anything else get in. So at the moment, this holds everything I need to uh, film make in my shop here. And I've got my tape measure. This guy is 36 by 24 roughly. And that excludes the drawer face here. It's just, just on a couple of drawer slides. 
so it goes in and out yeah that's that's kind of it I mean I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like on the inside and I can kind of explain what I put in here what all I use the most so let's get everything back into the drawer then we'll take a look at what that looks like So I usually start out over here. You can see there's kind of a through way there with all the cables and things. This is kind of like my designated things that are being charged that don't plug into their own holder area. So usually what I plug in over there is I've got these uh, Rode Go, I think they're called. This is just a lav mic that I wear sometimes when I'm making videos. So that guy always needs to be charged up. So he lives in there. And I also have this Loom Cube. These are really handy. Um, it's just a little light that you can light up certain subjects or yourself with but I like to have that fully charged always so he kind of lives over here too. And then this area right here like I said is kind of my designated GoPro situation so all things GoPro minus maybe some of the mounts which I'll put over here. GoPro and DJI Osmo goes over here just my little like action cams that kind of stuff lives there as well as I think a carry case I usually throw in there. So there's that carry case. That guy is just basically a nice little spot for, uh, you know, when I take these kind of cameras to go, I'll throw them in there just so they don't get damaged. Fits right in the backpack I have. Got a video on that if you haven't seen it. That guy lives in there. Uh, Osmo, he kind of lives in there. GoPro lives in there. And typically I'll just throw my Sony in also. Um, nothing like gets jostled around, so I'm not too worried about stuff touching. Uh, so I just kind of like pack it in nice and neat right there. So those cameras are all charged, ready to rock. Batteries for those guys live in the battery bank. And then the Osmo, sometimes I'll throw in here and charge as well. Things I keep right here, again, this is just some cases and things uh, for those guys. A selfie stick, an extra microphone. Everything I use that I'm filming with right now lives in there most of the time. Um, and that way I can just snap it closed, take it and go. Um, but this is the stuff I mostly just use in the shop. I like to keep maybe a couple extra chargers if I need to grab those. A couple mounts, they just kind of fit nicely in there. Some Osmo accessories, that guy can live in there. All easy to access. Last guy, in this last little section over here, um, this is kind of just like a catch-all. Unfortunately, there's just no good way to do it. So, you know, I've got some Joby ball heads, GoPro mounts. I'll take and put some lens caps in there just to have any kind of weird little charge you guys. I'll put in here, not over there, just so I can kind of grab what I need and only have what I need over there. So those guys kind of go and live in there too. Extra batteries, always good. Another GoPro mount. And then I like to, I actually have quite a few of these type of things. These are just like the plug them in the wall battery banks. Um, and I like to have a few of those on hand. Typically I have to unplug some chargers in order to charge these in here. Uh, but in the meantime, they kind of just live in the catch-all too. So that's kind of what it looks like when it's full. And it's pretty much everything I need. I don't have a ton of room for expansion, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know, maybe another drawer in the future. All right, and that's that for this guy. I hope you liked that little in-depth look at my camera drawer. If you have any other things you want me to do, something similar with, really dive deep into some of the other stuff I've built, just let me know down in the comments. Um, and like always, if you haven't liked and subscribed, do that for me, and we'll see you next time.